William Whitehurst is the second-ranking Republican on the powerful House Armed Services Committee. He's briefed regularly on our military capabilities. During a taping of WAVY-TV's Inside Area 10 broadcast, Whitehurst addressed the growing crisis in Poland and unequivocally dismissed any chance of U.S. military intervention there. What happens if, if the Soviet Union invades? Uh, we're not going to use military forces. We're not going to do it, and certainly none of our Western allies would countenance such a move. And I haven't heard any official in the American government, anyone, uh, even remotely suggest that that's an option available to us should the Soviets move in. Whitehurst supports the kind of economic sanctions already recommended as a show of disapproval of what's going on in Poland, because he says nothing else will work. No more than what we're doing, because we cannot safely do anything else. The congressman, along with Senator Gary Hart of Colorado, is sponsoring legislation that would have our military leadership rethink their priorities to redirect their efforts away from exploiting the latest and most sophisticated technology for tried and proven materiel. We're saying that war-winning weapons are not always simple, but almost always they are. There is a place for stealth and advanced technology, says Whitehurst, but not to the exclusion of more conventional methods. He takes, for example, the M16 rifle, which cost $295. It was built as an alternative to the $75 AL-15, which was more lethal, more accurate, more reliable than the M16. Howard Jaffe, The Daily News.